You've had a remarkable journey coming from Lagos via Norway, Italy, Spain, and now you're in the Premier League with Watford. Just give us a little bit of background about how you came in the, in the first place over to Europe. Well, I would say I've been saying that since uh, ever I've been making uh, interviews and all that. I'm grateful to God. I'm, I'm happy for where I am today because uh, the journey was not that easy. It was difficult, you know, but uh, I thank God, you know, so for what God has done in my life. I'm living my dream and I'm happy playing in Premier League, doing well. So really happy. It was not easy in the beginning, but now I can't even think about that because I see that every walk, every suffer I've gone through is paying off. So I'm grateful to God. How old were you when you first left uh, Lagos to go to Norway? It was 18 years when I signed my first contract with um, Norway, uh, with uh, Linoslo of Norway. Signed three and a half years contract there on the 31st of August 2007, if I can remember. I only played 10, 10 11 months there before Odinese bought me. Then I went to Italy, I played one year, then went to Spain, played one season, then gave, come back to one other team, Cesena, in Italian league, play half season, then go back to Spain again, play I think almost three and a half or four years there. Play three three seasons in the La Liga, then uh, one half season in the second division. Then I before I joined Watford uh, last uh, Watford last season. So I'm happy I came here and uh, I helped the team to gain promotion and we're in Premier League now. Still fighting. I know it's not going to be easy, but we're working hard, we're pushing, and I'm we're ready to go. Give any team any challenge. How did you get spotted initially when you were playing in Lagos? Yeah, you know, some scout always go to Nigeria during the off-season to watch players and all that. My, one of my agents came from Norway to watch me play and all that. And they, they, they invited me for trials in Norway. I went there and I did well, so the coach wanted me, but he said they have to sell a striker before they bring me in. So I went back to Nigeria. I was training back there in Nigeria and all that. So in that August 30th or August 28th, they sold the striker to Offinam, uh, uh, Chino Duobasi, they call him. He's a Nigerian guy, so they sold, sold the guy to Offinam. So I have to go there and replace him and start doing work. It was not easy, it was very cold for me and all that. But I thank God that uh, I did really well there, then uh, Udinese bought me from there. So that's the story. Huh? And you say it, it was cold, but was it difficult to leave your friends and family behind in Africa? Yeah, it's difficult, you know, for the fact I was 18 and leaving my parents then, leaving my brothers and sisters, my, my friends, which we grew up together, we play street football together, we barefoot and all that. Leaving them and going to a country, you don't have nobody there, you don't have family there. You play under minus 20 degrees, minus 20 five sometimes very cold with 10 meter snows and all that always indoors always training and indoors training it's not easy but i think every sacrifice i make then is paying off now so I, I'm, I'm happy for everything because i learned a lot then and uh, there's a saying say if you if you don't if you don't go through difficulties in life you'll never appreciate life so uh, that's why i appreciate everything i have today in life that's why i'm I appreciate God for guiding me through all that because I know many people back then they came to Norway they could not make it some gone go back to Nigeria they said the weather is too cold some came from I think Argentina and all that said the weather is too cold they can't make it there but I thank God God gave me the grace the strength I walked out and I'm, I'm where I am today so I'm grateful to God.